Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode of Wargroove 2. As we continue through the campaign... Uh, yeah, I want to go back and get gold on this. We didn't quite finish that, but let's keep jamming these new missions. Uh, this is the next one. Victory Point Resort Town? Oh, that's where we were. Sorry, now we're going here. King's Cove. Firebird and the Oracle Showdown at Sea. Wolfar learns about Captain Firebird's sworn enemy. So there's multiple pirate captains. There's Wolfar and the twins. And then there's this lady. Hey, you're up. These are just the generic pirate minion dudes. That was a nasty fall. You shook the whole ship. Where? Where is she? He's, he's Scottish, right? Hmm. Captain, say something to spook you? Captain? Oh, you mean her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Captain! Nadia, that's her name. How's Izumi doing with the treasure map? The map? I haven't heard. Then go ask. Of course, Captain. Take it easy, big guy. Take it easy, big guy. Okay. So I'm her prisoner, or what? Or, sorry for all the trouble. Oh, no, I jumped onto the ship right as we were escaping, yes. It's just... You look so much like... Like someone I cared about. Someone close. Alia. She knows. He knew her. Knew? Who are you? These two know each other. Why are you here? Why now? We're so close. I've come just hoping to see the islands for myself. See an alias home with me own two eyes. Didn't I want any more than that. <laughs> right. And see I upset ye. It's near my intention. I'll be out of your hair. Whoa. Captain, Captain. Come quick, it's the Oracle. What does she want? Let's go. You wanted to know about Alia's home? Come on, you should see this. Okay. Still haven't told us how they know each other. Firebird, don't just keep me waiting out here. Who is this? The Oracle. It's the Oracle! We finally caught up to her. Naval Cadet. Okay, they're chasing. This is the third pirate captain? Ah, uh, we have an audience today. I predict you're in for a wonderful treat. The death of the dread Captain Firebird. Okay. Oracle, me old nemesis. I thought you'd retired. You're old enough, ain't ya? Oh, they attack her. <laughs> nice. Ow. Wow, she's on half health suddenly? Arr, so we're playing dirty today. Yes, I expect to be positively filthy by the time I'm done with you. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Should we intervene? Now the, the Empire's forces here. Hold on, cadet. Let's see how this plays out. Okay. Do that, Firebird. You're boring our fans. Why don't we spice things up? Oh, that's a big dude. Need my latest creation. Douglas Digwell Bonies? Bonies. Okay. Douglas Digwell, fancy name for hunk of junk. It's my son, you wench. <laughs> your son? Doogie doodle darting. The lady in the ugly headband wants to play with you. Lady, play with Doug. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> a captain always goes down with his ship. <laughs> okay. Captain! What? is going on let's go we've wasted enough time here so it was foretold so it is done she just this what so this oracle just killed nadia nope are they gone yes yes you sold it beautifully darling what, what? nice i was i was duped there oh is that teal haired gentleman new just picked him up yesterday he's as green as can be how about we have a match then, while you get him caught up? So these guys know each other and are friends. You're on. They're, they're both working to trick the Navy. Wow. So we're going to skirmish with these guys. Turn one. What will be the rules for today, Nadia? Hmm. First to 20 kills? Marvelous. How about we sweeten the pot as well? If one of your units reaches this spot, I'll give you a bonus prize. <laughs> okay. It's as good as ours. I won't go easy on you. Yeah, I expect not. Be the first to defeat 20 units. The first. Oh, and our score is up here. 
Wild. The bonus objectives reach the bonus area, of course, and prevent the Oracle from scoring more than 10 kills. Wow. Weird that Heavensong... Heavensong's on the map? No, they're not. They're getting gold every turn somehow. We are not able to produce units, I believe, here. Yeah. A chess match. It looks like we have exactly the same types and numbers of units here. We're just positioned slightly... Differently? Oh, wait, no. We don't have the same units. We have these guys. We have riflemen. They... Oh, they do too. Okay, this is gonna be tough. I have to stop her from scoring multiple kills. She's also got heavy armor. Incoming damage reduced by 50%? Wow. This type of unit can usually only hit uh, other aerial units. These harpies can hit ground units. Harpoon ships are great against them. But, um... Oh, I can't see what this is. Yeah, can attack all unit types. Good for harassing enemies that can't fight versus air. Right. Mages, harpoons, and ballistas can shoot air as well as ranged units. I don't think I can shoot them with a rifleman. Maybe I can. Crit when they're on a mountain. Uh, yeah. And they can cross enemy lines. Hmm. Okay. And then this is a ballista ship? Harpoon ship. Yeah. So, naval unit able to attack air units, can't attack other naval units. I think it attacks ground units, but... and crit one on a reef. It hits ground units, but it's not good. Amphibians are good against it. I, don't, I think it can hit ground units, but it's not good against them. Oh, effective against turtles. What? I thought... Able to attack air and sea. Yeah, can't attack land units, that's what it is. And they've got a big range here. Let's see. Yeah, they can shoot. Holy crap. Or no, they have to be adjacent? Oh, never mind. Oh, I'm actually selecting the wrong ship. Yeah, three three squares range. That's huge. Okay. This is gonna be tough. These guys can move and attack. Oh, I can't move from there. I can attack here. And that wipes these guys? I've got to go for this, right? What unit am I going to try and get into the end zone there? Oh, their units respawn when they die? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, if I go here, I can't attack. I can attack from here. Let's take that guy out. Okay, scoring two quick kills here. Um, but they respawn back there. Oh, weird. Okay. So, this guy can hit aerial units in this whole area. I don't think... Can these guys attack? These guys can't attack aerial units. Air. Yeah, negative. So, they can't attack aerial units at all. These guys can, I think? No, these guys can't either. The archers can, I know that. And then these guys can't, I believe. Yeah, the riflemen can't. Um... How am I gonna do this? So this guy... Okay. Move this guy here. Move this guy here. Okay, this guy can only attack other air units. These turtles cannot reach my ships here. Nice. Um, what are these things weak to? Turtles, right. So I've got to get my turtles up here. Uh, could go in the reef. Let's go right here. Move these guys all up here. Uh, maybe this guy goes this way? 
Okay, these guys crit from the beach, right? Oh, river or sea. River or sea? Wow. Okay. Gotta get this guy up here. This guy crits from the beach. Uh... Ooh, this guy's gonna hit my two boats. Hmm. God, that guy can shoot very, very far. If I move here, can he hit me? I don't think he can. If he could move here, then he would be able to shoot me, right? I'm gonna wait over here. And what do I do with my general here? Uh. God, I, I don't know. Maybe I move backward. I can't... Yeah. I can't really shoot a lot of these aerial or naval units with my generals, so... I didn't understand. What is all this? So, first things first. We're not pirates. We're not after gold or glory. What we want is greater than any of us. The Saffron Islands themselves. Freedom, maybe? Freedom fighters, perhaps? Mm. Ouch. I never checked the riflemen. Those guys can shoot far, very far. Right. Hmm. I don't mean to sound crass, but our teal-haired friend, he doesn't look like he's from around here. How much do you know about the islands? Not much, I'm afraid, only that Heaven Song rules over him. That and my wife hailed from here. <laughs> Nadia knows. Um Okay, this guy's gonna wreck my flying dude here, and there's not much I can do about that. I guess we'll fire on this guy. Um, might as well get the crit here. Okay. Yeah, this guy got critted. Jeez. Um, attack from here. Oh boy. Jeez, this thing can move and attack, right? No? Wait, we're on a beach. Can I not hit any of these guys from here? One, two, three, four, five. So they have a four. Yeah, one, two, three. I guess no, I can't. Damn. They have a four square radius. Jeez. 33 to this. This crits when it's in reef. Oh, man. Can't attack this. I would have to move here to attack that. This guy's got the 50% the damage reduction. Jeez. Okay, let's go for this. Ugh. I feel like I should hit this guy. 
23 damage. This is C tile, so there, there's no way that guy can get over there. Maybe I will go here. This guy can hit them, though. He's vulnerable to amphibians. Oh, this guy could hit him, right? Yeah. Uh, if I go here, he can't. Okay, let's hit this guy. Yeesh, not doing much damage here. Wow, crit him from the deep sea, 17? That's not bad, actually. Let's do this. Can't attack me back? Um... Crazy. I can't believe that I can't uh, do that. Okay, let's go all the way over here. Could hit this turtle. Then this thing's gonna hit me, right? Hmm, I can't get closer with my flyers until I kill that ship. This guy crits from Reef. Can I hit from here? Ooh, I could crit this from here. I'm gonna do that. Okay. God. That's kind of crazy. How am I gonna get in there? Wow, this guy can attack me all the way over here? Shit. Uh, okay, wait there. Who did this turtle? Maybe I should go around the side? Hmm. This guy's just gonna come right in here and hit that ship, right? They're vulnerable to the harpoon ship. I think I'm just gonna chill here. It's kind of crazy, but... So this thing can't hit me over there. Let's go up here. Yeah, go... Here? Jeez, I don't want to lose 10 units here, so maybe I just bring my guy back? Uh, I'm gonna bring him back here. I can't escape! So this guy's just gonna wreck me. I can't actually escape from this... This douchebag. So should I just hit this thing? I think I'm gonna go this way. Heavensong Empire's laid claim to these isles for a hundred years. You think they just found him here? The Emperor came here with his warships, gunned down our monarch, and then swooped in to save us from lawlessness. Not Cherry Stone or any other peace-loving kingdom did a thing about it. Wow, the origin story of Heavensong. At least the Emperor got his just desserts in the end. Fell King Kaspar saw to that. Oh, Heavensong's still scared of skulls and bones to this day. Wow, the Felheim, like... Faction was responsible for the Emperor of Heavensong's death? Crazy. Ah, that hurts. Okay, I lose a unit. Okay, three to one. I have to stop her from getting to ten. Oh, you son of a... Oh, no. Uh-oh, three to two. Okay, this guy shouldn't do that much damage, right? Okay. Oh, no way. Damn it. Okay. There's a lot going on here right now in this battle. Oh, these guys are dead. Okay. Four to two. I've got to get a unit in there. I... I can't get a water unit in there, obviously, so how do I get a ground unit in there? Maybe my general? I have no transport ships. It 
ship down. Jeez. Arrows taking down the ship. Oops. Oh boy. Okay, good. That wasn't so bad. Four to three right now. Not amazing. But alas, take down one emperor, another simply rises. Empress Tenry. She's had decades to answer for her father's crimes. We know where she stands. Oh, wow. Okay. I think I'm going to try and get one of my units in there. Jesus. Okay. This, this thing has such crazy reach. It's ridiculous. Okay, we're good against... Uh... Oh. We're vulnerable to turtle? Okay, never mind. This guy is slightly vulnerable, but also good against Turtle. I can't attack a unit right next to me. That is unfortunate. So I've got to get into this reef terrain here. Uh, these guys are effective versus harpoon ships. Hmm. Critting from the sea. I could crit from here. Yeah, wipe this thing. Okay. And then... This guy goes here and attacks Turtle for 63. Ah, uh, just kill this thing, yeah. Critting from the reef, even with half health, one-shotting. Very nice. Uh... Turtle, 86, 44, 70. I think I should hit this stupid thing. This thing does too much damage. Yeah, there you go. Uh, gee, we're both going to crit there. 70 to their 21. 70 to their 17. Or I finish off the battleship. I'm gonna hit these guys. Okay. Jeez. Guess I'm hitting these guys? 50% damage. It's not bad. Um, 77, nice. Let's hit this. Twenty-three, eighty-two, fifty-five. Probably hitting this and then I can finish it with my general, I think. finish off this warship we're playing to 20 kills right I just have to get keep her to less than 10 doesn't matter how fast I finish this uh, which one should I kill maybe I free this up this guy's got more health maybe I should kill the guy with higher health light him up nice okay so are these guys, these guys are vulnerable to turtles. Hmm. 59, yeah, let's hit this guy. Nice. And okay, now I should be able to finish him. 24. 53 and kill him. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, these guys are effective against my boats. Um, so putting my boat up here is probably a bad idea, right? Uh, 
This guy can attack Beach. How can I not attack this guy? Oh, there we go. I can attack this guy? Can I not attack the guy right next to me here? Why? It's so weird. I can only attack this guy. Okay, I guess I will, but very strange here. Okay. That's everybody. So we're taking the islands back. That's the long and short of it. You, us pirates are mostly a distraction. All the work of getting public support, making secret treaties with other countries, forming a government, all that's happening off stage. Wow, very interesting. These pirates are planning to take over these islands. We just get to wear costumes and waste the Empire's money. Nice. Okay. We've got about a dozen pirate crews picking fights with the Navy, raiding colonial resort towns. Biding our time till the day we take the capital and kick Heavensong out. Hitting my general here. Okay. I wonder what happens if the general dies in this kind of weird contest. Does it respawn? Okay, I'm on three defense here, so... Oh. Those guys get smacked. Shit. Yeah. God damn it. Even with two defense. Doug, win? <laughs> yes, yes, Dougie Diddles did wonderfully. Where are you going? Uh... Wow. One shot. That's five points. Uh... Come on. I need to... Oh my god. This is very difficult. Holy cow. How do you not let them get ten kills here? Every unit they have is a ranged unit. I mean, like us, right? We both have so many ranged units, you can't avoid dying here. Nine to seven... Oh my god, is this guy gonna die too? Holy crap. Yeah, he's dead. Right. Nine to eight. Wow. Yeah, this is tough. I don't think I can do it. Um... I've got to try and get... I'm going to try and get one of my flying units into the end zone there. Halfway there already. Maybe should retire. Oh boy. Reloads. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, look at this son of a bitch. He's going to go cut off the only way I have to... <coughs> to get in the end zone. Man, that's tough. Um, this was a mistake coming up this way. It's way too slow. Mm. Guess I could just attack this. Should have maybe attacked the archers, actually. Uh, that are right next to me there. Oh, I've got the uh, my ultimate here. Uh... Fire dance. It's gonna encompass all of these enemies. Sure. Let's see if we can do it. Oh. Oh, one of them died. Okay. Uh. Critting from sea or river. Awkward. Okay, let's hit this guy, get this guy out of the way. Then I think that's a sea space, yeah. So then we can move in there and crit. Let's crit with the guy who has more strength here. 18% is all we're doing. He can't hit us here though, I think. Uh, critting here. There's no way we're gonna keep them to less than 10 kills here. I, I just don't, it's just not gonna happen. So what is good at killing these things again? Harpoon ships and amphibians. Hmm. Hmm. 
And these guys crit from Reef. Where I am right now. Okay, let's just crit from here first. And then finish them with these guys, I think. Okay, these guys also critting, of course. Man, the battle does go by pretty quickly. We're already at 13 here. No reef here to speak of. Reload? Oh, see, I can't crit from the reef there. 35? I don't even know if that's worth it, but... This guy's gonna go north and attack my other dude, which is not good. Okay, critting this guy's nice. Okay... 14 kills... Yeah, this, this giant's still gonna kill one of my guys, for sure. Probably these archers, actually. And am I on a beach right now? No. Could go here. Ooh, 38, critting from the beach. Luckily, I'm only half, he half health. Okay, that guy's gonna crit now, which is unfortunate, but... Uh, let's go this way. I think that's our last unit. A revolution, then. What do you think, Tealbeard? I've no love of empires. Hey, I knew big guy was on our side. <laughs> Turn four. Oh, attacking my general. Can my general die? And if so, do I lose? Nope. Nice, that's another kill. I just don't think I'm going to be able to get one of my units in the end zone. Oopsie, hee hee. Who's that in the lead? You know, I'm starting to think you're not actually psychic. We'll see who has the last laugh. I'm at 15. They're attacking me. Yeah, can my general die? How does this work? Oh, okay. Not bad. Okay, this is not going to kill my guys here. Nice. That that Titan might have actually done it. Or oh, the giant or whatever. Oh, no. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there. Oh, this guy goes to finish. Yes. Oh, and we hang on. Look at that. No death. Huge. Okay. I've got to get to 20 kills. Whoa, the retaliation there. Turtles are so good against that ship. Okay, that's, yeah. They get eight kills here, nine. Can they, oh, this is another good uh, exchange for us, I think. Turtles, yeah. Okay, this guy's not gonna die. He's gonna die on the backswing. If I can just get a couple of kills. Oh no, I don't get to shoot back there, right. Good, riflemen have no targets. I don't think I have enough movement to get in there with my flying guy here. No! Those guys can't shoot flying guys, though. Oh, man. I can't get in there, can I? I'm gonna do this? I don't think they can finish me. Maybe there's a chance I can get in here with these guys. But I, I'm gonna get... I need five more kills. Uh, there's no way I can keep them to... Yeah, I can't keep them to, to not killing anybody this round, right? Can I? Um... Yeah, I can't attack that guy. Okay, finish this guy off. 16 kills. Get this guy out of the way. Reload. Could crit somebody. 99 damage. Come on. Really? 
Okay, I mean, I'm gonna go for 99 here. Jeez. Okay, this hits here. That finishes him. This guy's probably gonna die next turn. Damn it. Eight. Um, kill this guy. Okay, that's eighteen. I guess this finishes him. That's nineteen. Oh, uh, but I'm not gonna get in the end zone. How am I gonna do that? I can't do that. My guy up there is definitely gonna die next turn. Shit. Wow. Yeah, that sucks. That's 20. But I didn't get in the end zone. I came so close. And that's game. Ah, Fortune is such a fickle mistress. Damn. Well, this has been fun. But I'm not just here for leisure. I have news from Resistance HQ. Your crew's mission is the last one before we take on the capital. Oh, wow. Have you found it yet, the treasure? We're, uh, working on it. Heaven Song stole something dear to us years ago. You know, besides the entire archipelago. We just found a map when we picked you up. A map to our stolen treasure. It'll raise everyone's morale if we can find it. Good news and bad news about the treasure map, Captain. Izumi. I can't crack the code. God damn it, Izumi. But I know where we can get a cipher to decode it. Where, exactly? At my old job. A naval base. I was a young sailor. Oh! Is this a heist? And you intend to wear that? What? what are you getting at? Nothing, nothing. Nadia. Doug's, Doug's King Caspar Day costume shrunk in the wash the other week. Doug is the golem. It might be small enough to fit you know who. What she telling ye? Well, this has been lovely. Bye bye now, ta ta. May fortune smile upon you all. They're gonna give him a. A costume? Alright, Izumi, which base are we headed to? So, naval base has a cipher. We're gonna go there. Okay. Hey, don't mind Nadia. She's got a lot on her mind these days. She'll warm up to you soon enough. This guy thinks she's being cold, but really it's because we know each other, right? I, I still don't understand the link here. His wife, Alia, came from these islands. Okay, prevent them from scoring 10 points. I did it, but... I need to get that end zone thing. Damn, I did not get three stars on that one. All right, uh, let's do one more. You unlock lore for the Pirate Skyrider unit, the Tale of Yendi. Okay, oh, you unlock lore for most pirate units. Okay, most? Lore, what did they call it? Pirates? We are Admiral Ryota, threat briefing. We're currently tracking the leader of seven lawless pirate gangs, the four captains of the most significant offenders of late. Captain of the Artifice is Firebird. That's the one we just met. The or Oh no, the Oracle was the one we just met. She kept saying Firebird something. She's Captain Firebird, I guess? Nadia? The Oracle, Captain of the Good Fortune. Sour Cheeks. I don't know who that is. And then Tealbeard. <laughs> Lieutenant Kitsuragi keeps suggesting Big Buff Hammerman as an alternate name, but honestly, I wish she'd stop. <laughs> Big Buff Hammer ma Hammerman. Yeah, there's nothing else here. So, I unlocked lore about the pirate faction. turtle it's got to be this but I don't know hmm 
Okay. Fish? Go fishing? What? Birds? Go bird watching? What is that? Oh, yeah, and we've got lots of different items and stuff. Lucia's bow, Verge of Death. Oh, I haven't seen the... Bulrush's lance I saw. I haven't seen all these in battle yet. Hmm. Wow, didn't know all these things were in here. What? Wow, crazy items. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's go to the next one here. So, Naval Base 106, Security. Izumi runs into an ex-co-worker while taking the crew to see her old job. Let's go. <laughs> Sir, we found another one. Kappa Diver. Heh, <laughs> Empress Tenry will be pleased. We'll ship it out to the mainland first thing in the morning. These guys are riding giant flamingo-looking things. Yes, sir. Hmm. All clear, Captain. Hmm. Here we are, my old job. The most poorly run naval base in the colonies. We're way out in the boonies. They barely keep a night shift. All the better for us. Let's go. Okay. Wait, where's Wolfar? Flamethrower, not the stealthiest weapon. Seems he's, uh, embarrassed. Oh, is he wearing the costume? <laughs> yes. Is that a treasure chest? Huh. Speak not a word. Aye, aye, Captain Moneybags. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm in a fort. Cool. Z -z -z a promotion? For me? Finally. Recognition. <laughs> Sleeping. Whoa. Oh, wow. Sniped. Nice. Nobody hears the gunshots. We're, we're using suppressors. They haven't even changed the lock since I worked here. Sloppy. Hey, no visitors after hours. Ooh, get bonked. It's hammer time. Oof, the big treasure chest hammer. Nice. Huh, you've done this before, haven't you? Izumi, I'll bet they keep the code ciphers in here. Hold on. Yeesh, their filing system is appalling. Sit tight, everyone. This is going to take a while. So I assume we're going to have to buy this guy some time. Oh no, never mind. They're right here. Got him, Captain. That's a little too easy, isn't it? Captain? Uh-oh. You again. The one they call Firebird. Firebird? Who's that? I'm the new head of security around here. I have some bad news. Enough of your games. Oh boy. Uh oh. Whoa. What the? Arrest them for crimes against the Empire. Wow. Arr. You'll rue the day ye crossed Captain Firebird and her motherless sons. Sure. Money bags. Oh, okay, we get some dudes. Aye. Wow. We are surrounded. Uh, okay. Defeat Ryota. Overview. Defeat Ryota with Nadia? Her specifically. Defeat Ryota in five turns or fewer. He's all the way down here, and she's all the way up here. Really? They've got riflemen back here, so I guess I'm just supposed to avoid? Oh, man. This guy's gonna crit me if I go here. Oh, that's Ryota. Captain Saber. Oh, unit deals critical damage when above... Okay, nice. A wizard, a mage that does crit if he's above 80%. I like these, look at this shield pig. Our dog unit. Okay, oh, we have another guy with a saber here. So these spearmen hold these guys off. It's not bad, actually. 
12 damage. 64 here. I can't shoot through this. Okay. Let's keep firing here. I love how they all have little parrots in their hats. So this guy blocks this. Okay. Guys aren't getting through now. Okay, these guys are not ranged. That guy can move very far. Uh, let's hit here. I guess these guys can't reach that archer. If I move in here, that guy's gonna hit me, right? I think I'm just moving everybody down. Damn, those guys can really move, huh? I just need to get out of this guy's range and I'll be okay. Can that guy, no, that guy can't hit here. Wolfar could come in here and start scrapping. I think I'm gonna come down though. Hmm. They can't. Ugh, it's annoying. They can't shoot through each other. I guess this guy could stay here and fire. Eight percent. That is not amazing. Okay, come down. Oh, what are you doing up so late, Silvermane? Seems you've got a poor work-life balance. <laughs> That's Ryota, Silvermane. Protecting the Empire is my life. Your reason for being here is far more interesting to me. Uh... Far more interesting to me. Sorry, I think I put the emphasis on the wrong part of the sentence there. It sounded weird. Ouch. Right, we walked right into that. Okay. Okay, but that other guy can't reach me here. This is fine. We're gonna crit back, so this isn't so bad. Oh, damn it. Oh, surviving. That's huge. That lets me crit here? Uh, oh, but I have to move him first. Okay, there's Ryota. Let's go kick his ass. Ugh. Bring me to a military base. Why? There are more soldiers here than gold. It does not make sense. No, it does not. Uh, so I could kill this guy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him no matter what, so let's just do it. And then maybe these uh, swordsmen... Or these other spearmen can help crit here. Wow, it can attack through my golem? Okay. Oh my god, they're not dead. Oh, that's brutal. Okay, well. Smash. This guy bottlenecks this whole group of enemies in here now. It's kind of huge. Okay. Coming after you, Ryota. Our right flank is collapsing there. That that rifleman's gonna die now, but whatever. Could send this guy over here. 
Uh, okay, so let's get at least a little bit of damage on this guy. Critting for 16%. Not amazing. Uh, yikes. Oh boy. Not sure what I'm going to do about this. 31, then 49 back. 42, 17. Let's just go golem on golem action here. Look at ours. Ours is bigger. Look at that skull. Bam, bam. Okay. Uh... Shit. Oh, he can't stack us either. Yes. That's huge. Mm. Damn it. That archer can hit me there? Yeah, I think I can shoot around the corner still, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, maybe this guy does go over here and help. And I feel like if I go here, I'm going to attract the big guy's attention. And maybe we can uh, do some work against him. I'll keep... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Immediately going for the uh, general on the level 3 defense there. Both of them hitting each other. Good. Yikes. These guys are dead. Okay. <clears throat> Gotta get her in range of the general here. Yeah, I was expecting that, but now these guys are within range of my rifleman who's around the corner. Ooh, did not expect this. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I'm not critting anymore with my item. That sucks. Maybe I could heal and then crit. That might actually work. Okay, these guys die. Hmm. Letting those guys get into a forest there is pretty bad, too. Okay, the golem's just gonna keep smashing right through that middle. Oh, and they know- Ooh, I can get a clean hit on their general here, I think. Officer, what is your most- the most valuable item in this base? Uh, the weapons, maybe? The pirate's equipment does look awfully familiar. Hmm. Arr, you've caught us. We was running low on spears. Thought we'd just borrow a few. Okay... I'm gonna wipe this golem. I think I should have looked at how much money I have, because we're not earning money, so they, they start you off with a certain amount. 1,200. They start you off with a multiple of 300 here, so that you can tell exactly how many heals you have. Okay, that lets this guy crit again. Yeah, 68. Oh. Okay, there. I can soften him up. Yes, that finishes him. Perfect. I'm supposed to do it in five turns. I'm supposed to kill uh, Ryota here. This is turn three? I don't know. How? This is very tough. How are you supposed to do this? Uh, 12? That's it? Damn. Not good at killing dogs with rifles, apparently. Jeez, that's pathetic. 48's a little bit better. Uh, nice. So, I can tee off here. Send this guy flying. Oh, I can't drop him on here? Shit. I can send him flying all the way over there. That's pretty good. Yeah. Tee off. Boom. He hurts that other guy. Could have dropped him here, and he does a bunch of damage, but that's quite all right. Okay, this guy's gonna crit because he's next to my general. 
But two defense from the flagstones means the dogs don't die. Um... God damn it. Okay, here's our first big hit. Maybe I should go around the bottom? Just try and pinch this guy off. That leaves room for Nadia to come in the top and maybe help me finish him. Bam. Okay, good damage there. Okay. Oh boy. Leave him at 1%. Okay. Get over here with Nadia. She's got to do it next turn, basically. Uh, sure, hit this guy. Okay, and these riflemen are going to die, but I don't really care. Let's get that last shot. Oh, I can hit these guys? Yeah, those other guys are on 1%. Let's just hit this guy. Sure. Not very much damage, but... Okay, turn three. Weapons? Hmm. Still trying to figure out why we're here. Here. The room they broke into is a bit small for an armory, is it not? Duh, that's because it's the records room, sir. <laughs> oh, he moves over there? I don't think I can kill him. How am I supposed to kill him in five turns? And what was the other objective? I don't even remember anymore. It was kill him in five turns... And something. Okay. Ye Weakening my general is really rough here because, of course, uh, it's going to be even harder to kill their general when my general's weakened. Shit. I'm going to have to redo this. I, did, I don't think I'm going to get any stars. Crazy. Okay, those guys are dead at least. Ooh, my, uh... Okay, these guys are also dead. My groove is all charged up here. Okay. Yep. Ooh, that's annoying. Okay. I'm not going to be able to crit back. Still, I, I mean, Ryota's too far away. I can't, I can't kill him. I can't kill him, let alone kill him with Nadia. There's not a chance. Hmm. Tough one. It's like a puzzle, basically. The first time we play it, uh, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to get my three stars on most of these things. Because a lot of them you have to really, like, experiment with a few different strategies before you figure out. Like, they give you very specific restrictions, right? What do we have here? Oh, one of them is Nadia and one of them is five turns or less, yeah. So it's turn four. Can use that last. The golem keeps hunting Ryota here. He's at 50% health. But there's not a chance we're going to do this now. Not a chance. Groove is at 184 here. Uh, there, in the bottom left corner. 184. If I can get it to 200, maybe. Maybe there's a chance. Hmm. Maybe I just have to suicide charge south to Ryota here. Jeez. Let's see. I don't think I... Maybe if I can get this groove to 200. It's at 196. Uh, I could heal with this guy. So let's use this guy to hit this archer and finish him off. Okay, another unit wiped. Is it at two, 205? Yes. Why is it Fire Dance 1? Super annoying. Let me look at this again. 
Groove can deal high damage to powerful enemies, but because it selects targets at random, try to position her in a way that increases the odd of striking the units you want. Right. Her first charge groove affects three units. If there are only three units in range, it hits all of them. If there are six, it's a 50% chance. Right. Charge number one, three enemies, 50% groove damage. So it'll deal 50% of my groove? It's 100. 200. So it's going to deal 100 damage? Oh, that's too many enemies. I can't isolate Ryota here. Uh, okay. I'm going to keep firing here in the hopes that maybe I can <laughs> get a couple targets down. Oh. Shit. This is going to be tough. Uh, could heal again, but that does nothing. Oh, Ryota's not in range there. Okay, hold on. If I go here now, it's only three enemies. Oh, shit, I might be able to do this on turn four. Okay, go for it. I'll show you why they call me <laughs> oh, that didn't kill him. Ugh, curse it. Damn it, that didn't kill him. This is turn four. I might be able to do it next turn. So what I can do here is heal. Then that guy comes in. You know what? I'm going to go here and heal. Yeah, that way I'm blocking it. Okay... Oh, and this guy's got his groove again? Uh... Ooh, that guy can't hit me. Let's go up here. See off. And send this guy over here. Oh, man, I can send him so far. Let's send him here. And he damages everybody he lands adjacent to. Ooh, that kills that guy. Okay, this is turn four, so turn five. I can maybe do this. If, if that is the record room, then perhaps it is the information information they seek, not the information. Yeah, maybe I can still do this. This is turn five. I don't know. Am I underestimating my ability to kill? I've got to kill him with Nadia as well. He's got his groove, too, which is really nasty. Okay. Okay. He does uh, some kind of weird, like... He slices through rows of my guys, and he can go multiple rows as long as my the rows are connected to like each other. He can zip through multiple rows. It's really, really good. <coughs> but I don't know if he's going to be able to uh, to do it effectively or survive for that matter. He's attacking with all his other units before he's using his general, stealing information. Ha! Good luck with that. We write all our important documents in code. And where do you keep the code ciphers, officer? The records room, of course. <laughs> yeah. Aw, oh, heck, they're swiping our ciphers. They're taking our germs. Oh, he didn't even move? Okay, well, now I feel pretty good. Okay, is this going to kill him? This is going to put him to eight? Or put him to super low, anyway. Okay, that should be enough. I think Nadia can definitely kill him here. Uh Okay. I'm healing Nadia to full basically to guarantee that she kills this guy. But this is turn 5. I I don't know if that counts. I might have got 3 stars here though. We'll see. Oh yeah, we did it. Huge with Nadia. Okay. Little story mode here first. Nadia, go. I'll hold him off. What? You go. I'll hold him off. No one leaves none of you. Ooh. Now, Aki says. Ooh, they blow open the wall. 
All right, I take it back. You can stay. <laughs> she runs. What? No, hang on. Jumps in. And we get away. Nice, with the ciphers. Nice. That was bar none the worst heist we've ever done. <laughs> and we still got away with it. Got away with it? Your goose was nearly cooked. My goose? What were you gonna do? Throw coins at him like it's King Casper Day? <laughs> you know, your laugh. It's just like Alia's. Yeah, can we get this weird tension resolved here? You all right, Captain? Yeah, just thinking of turning in for the night. We've got a big week ahead of us. The treasure's nearly in sight. As soon as Izumi's ready, we go. Izumi, crack that code. Say, big guy, how do you know Nadia's sister? Oh, it was her sister. Oh, her sister? He realizes. Oh, no. Can he be? Yes, three stars. All right. Very nice. That worked out just in time. Perfecto. We didn't get uh, three stars on the previous one. Gonna have to go back and do that. You unlock lore for the Pirate Thief unit, The Tale of Izumi. For the Pirate Thief unit. Oh. What? The Pirate Thief. God damn it. Villager, Penny Pincher, this thing. Thousand gold when ransacking a stronghold, holy cow. The tale of Izumi, the way the Empire presented itself to the world, you'd think every citizen was rich, not so. Not Izumi. By the time she was of age, she'd inherited enough debt to last a lifetime. Izumi had heard there were cushy jobs in Saffron that paid handsomely, but she didn't realize you had to know someone with a cushy job to get one. The wages Izumi made cleaning offices and mess halls in the naval base could hardly lift one of her fingers out of poverty. Yet just out of reach in all of the offices she cleaned was gold. Loads of it. Right there, teasing her. The Empress would hardly miss just a few coins. And that was how Izumi wound up in an Imperial jailhouse. She'd been there weeks with not even an estimate of when her trial would be. As she sulks in the corner of her cell, a guard stops by. Saw your name in the paper, says the guard. 10,000 gold pieces, huh? Holy crap. Izumi buries her head in shame. As luck would have it, there's a project going on that could use someone with your skills, if you'll join us. Ask for water around sunset tomorrow. Izumi thought about it the whole night. It wasn't gold she wanted, really, whether in a jail cell or the naval base or back home in the slums of Hinmin Town. Izumi saw herself trapped inside an hourglass. She could only watch the beauty of the outside world and scream as her own world slowly filled with sand. In the morning, Izumi woke with a scratch in her throat. Water. She needed water. Wow. This is just a regular thief unit, but a bunch of lore. The Tale of Jabi. Look at this. Multiple pages of lore. Is this for every single unit? Hold on. Flight Engineer. Let me go back to... These are only one out of five. One out of four, or six for this, five, six, five, seven. So I unlocked extra lore for all these pirate units. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, that's where we're going to save it. A good uh, couple of missions there. I will be continuing this campaign. I hope you're enjoying it. Please let me know in the comments or if you have any ideas on strategy and what I'm doing wrong. I don't, I never would ever get offended. We are all learning together. So let me know what you think. Otherwise, have a great weekend. Peace.